It's a great day in Unit 4. Yes. Great day. Have a lot of great stuff happening. Um, we're going to start with, we have three Unit 4 staff members who are among the Illinois State Board of Education's Those Who Excel winners. Um, and we have Ms. Randy Wenzel. She's a teacher at Novak for, under special recognition. Um, we have Tabitha Wenzel, secretary at Centennial. Um, she's in the category of educational support personnel, special recognition. And we have Timothy Ayer. Airy. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Timothy Airy, educational support personnel. Um, and so we're really, and for young adult program, so we're really excited for these three who represent Unit 4, so they will be a part of the banquet and the celebration. I believe the date is in April, but I'll give you more information as it approaches. And so it's an honor to be nominated and to even be in the numbers. So it's across the whole state of Illinois, so we're excited for them, and let's give it up for them. Also, we have... Illinois Digital Educator Award, Educator of the Year. So congratulations to Tabitha Dunn, Kenwood teacher, the recipient of the IDEA Illinois Educator of the Year 2023 Award. She will be honored at the IDEA conference this week. So let's give it up for Tabitha. A lot of celebrations going on here. Central Dance Team. This is the one thing I can do. Yeah, not like them though. <laughs> the Central High School competed um, the state finals at the first, and the, as first time qualifiers, they walked away as first place state champions in the triple A hip hop. Um, it's an amazing accomplishment for the team. Um, not only did they make their first state debut, but they walked away with hardware in first place. So look at those smiles. Let's give it up for Central High <laughs> dance team. But it doesn't stop there. Jefferson Middle School dance team wins first place in the state championship for the junior high hip hop competition. So they're the grant, they, and they were the grand champion third place award. Um, and so we're giving a shout out to Ms. Lopez. Um, she has helped restore the joy across unit four with her amazing work with these teams and as an educator. So let's give it up for uh, Ms. Lopez and for the Jefferson dance team. Let's see, there we go. The Maroons, swimming team, Big 12 champs. So great job to Central High School swimming team. They, won, they are the Big 12 champs. Look at them standing there. Yes, congratulations. Ms. Vasquez, I knew you would love that picture. Okay, Centennial Scholastic Ball team earned second place. So congratulations, kudos to the Centennial Scholastic Bowl team for bringing home the second place trophy from the Mattoon Freshman Sophomore Scholastic Bowl. And we have our students sitting here and look at those smiles and those faces. Even behind the mask, you can see the smile. So congratulations to our Centennial Scholastic Bowl team. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, let's see. Aces wins regional title. The Central Ace ACES, which stands for Academic Challenge for Engineer and Sciences, won the regional title. The competition is sponsored and supported by Eastern Illinois University. There are seven tests given in biology, chemistry, physics, math, engineering, graphics, computer science, and English. Each student takes two of the seven tests with the top, with the top two scores in each category contributing to the team score. So, we're hoping we see them in the state competition. So they won regional, let's make it to the state competition. Let's give it up for our Central Aces. Got a lot of celebrations here. All righty, so congratulations. We have the Illinois Teacher of English to Speakers of Other Languages by bi bi Bilingual Education. Centennial student places in the essay contest. So a big applause to, I'm sorry. On, 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 there you go. On hell, not angel, on hell. Cortez, now I can say Cortez, that's my brother's name. Um, for winning third place in the ITBE, the Illinois Teachers of English and Speakers of Other Languages Bilingual Education Essay Writing Contest, Angel received a certificate of merit and a check for $50, and he will be honored at the ITBE conference in Chicago later this month. Way to go, Angel. 
All righty, this is what I look like on most days. <laughs> Central's chess team is state bound. The Central High School chess team competed at the state tournament last weekend. This is the team's first year competing as a member of the Illinois High School Association. So kudos for their hard work. Yes. All righty. Centennial and Central are just doing it this week. Centennial's teacher, Miss Amos, is um, the News Gazette's Teacher of the Week. So kudos to the second year biology teacher, Sydney Amos, for being named Teacher of the Week by the News Gazette. And I told her she is her ancestors' wildest dreams come true. So congratulations to Miss Amos. Now, what we have here, Happy Nappet Day, National African American Parent Involvement Day. It is today. We had a blast across the um, district today. So many schools um, and so many parents um, involved and they were there and the parents were welcome into our schools, um, to our buildings to participate in a variety of different activities. And there's just a few of the pictures that we took today. Um, you see Chief Tyler there. We see um, we were at, we were at um, Garden Hills first thing this morning. Um, here's another picture. Let me show you another one. Um, yep, <laughs> reading to classes. The, the buzz in the buildings I visited were full of joy. Um, I went to, went to Garden Hills, Stratton, BTW, and Bottenfield, and others went to other buildings as well. Cent Central had some, I mean, it was, we were everywhere. Um, and so we appreciate the many families that came out today. Um, we also had a special guest who has a unique connection to Napit. And she hung out with us, and you'll see her in that one of the pictures um, in the far, the t I can't tell you which, which one it is for <laughs> facing you, but it's probably where she's, with, I'm in the red, and the young lady from U of I, the, the, she's an athlete, says, Great, greatness happens here. Well, the little young girl there, that's my new adopted daughter, her name <laughs> is Victoria Fields, and she is a second year PhD student at U of I. Her grandfather, Joseph Doolin created Napit um, in November of 1995, and in, 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 he created in Michigan. So since 1995, Napit has been celebrated on the second Monday in February annually in 47 states in the nation and as far away as Canada, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Bahamas, Japan, and Australia. And she is with us, and so she's wanting to give back to, the, to Unit 4, so she hung out with us today. She was so impressed, took pictures and sent them back to her mother, and she was just like, my grandfather would have been so amazed and just truly thankful to see that this has carried on in, in over, over, over 20 years here at Unit 4. So we just want to say congratulations. Thank you to all the schools, the teachers, administrators that took the time out to celebrate and to all the families that were there. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. I got an opportunity today to talk to a group of families, parents um, at Stratton, and we had a blast. It was a two-way conversation and just their sheer joy of being able to be there, to be involved. And so I'm going to continue to stress, I don't want this just to be one day. Even though I love that we celebrate it one day, I want it to be, this is the norm in Unit 4, that we welcome our families, and especially our black families who have had a hard time in education for a number of years. This is our time to give back and to make sure. There's a thing about being feeling welcome and belonging, and that's what I felt when I walked into the buildings today, and it was amazing. Um, so if you don't know what that feels like, keep living a little longer. Um, so that was, was amazing. So thank you again to all of our staff. Black History Month. Um, Nia Jelani Wilson Thomas, a senior at Centennial High School, was featured um, on WCIA's Celebrating Central Illinois series. Nia is an executive member of the Centennial Student Council, a three-sport athlete, and volunteers at the Freedom School during the summer. Uh, she is our own Cecily Thomas's daughter, um, and we just want to shout her out and her, her mom, her family, um, Centennial. She is a great representation of who we are in Unit 4. That's why I say it's a great day. Let's give it up for <laughs> Nia. Yes, this is cool. This is cool. And if you haven't seen Hamilton, oh my goodness, it's amazing. But Central High School alum makes Broadway debut, Jonathan Butler Duplessis. Duplessis. 
the Duplessis. Ah, it's awesome. And so he made his Broadway debut as Aaron Burr in Hamilton. And I'm telling you, you have to check out him, if nothing else, the soundtrack itself. But yeah, so just another example of how Central um, Champaign Central High School alums are, are, are go on and do great things. And so it's, it's, it's awesome. So this picture right here just, uh, it captures it, right? Okay, this next one, they put this one in here. Mm, yeah. Anyway, um, it's Black History Month, and so I was selected by the Illinois State Comptrollers to be honored, um, and so there's a ceremony on February 23rd um, in Springfield in the state of Illinois Comptroller's office. Um, they sent me all kinds of things, and it's just a, it's an honor and a privilege um, to sit here in this role, um, and, and I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted, but when I got that call, and I was just like, wow, are you serious? So, but I just um, wanted to let you know so I'll, yeah. All righty, and happy Lunar New Year. So for those who celebrate, um, so for those who celebrate, happy Lunar New Year. Um, our students at Kenwood and Stratton made paper lanterns and watched a parade um, in their hallways to celebrate the Lunar New Year. So great things again, celebrating. So yeah, aren't they cute? <laughs> All righty, and we cannot forget our school counselors. Last week was National um, Council School Counseling Week, so we just want to say thank you to all of our school counselors for helping our students succeed, um, and they help our students make their dreams come true. So we want to shout them out and let them know we really appreciate them for all they do. And last but not least, I have to keep reminding everybody, attend today, achieve tomorrow. It's a great day when all of our students are at school, so please help us make sure that our students are, and your children are in school every day. Um, it's one of the most powerful predictors of academic success, and we need every Unit 4 student at school every day for the entire day. So, thank you.